All right, so friends, welcome. We're playing some standard. We're playing a deck that I stole from YouTuber uh, Mythic Mike. He plays a lot of uh, a lot of brewskis, and I saw this deck and it looked pretty cool. I've changed a lot of it, uh, but I like the core of a deck and the core idea. This is a blue white deck uh, built around Prof's Adetic Memory, two mana enchantment. Uh, when it ETBs, you draw a card, and then every beginning of combat step, for every card you've drawn uh, beyond the first, you get to put that many plus the most encounters on a creature you control. So pretty sweet, honestly. Very, very powerful card. I played it limited before. It's excellent. And uh, this deck is built around kind of just like pumping up things with counters uh, and then a little draw discard happening as well. So you have the, you have the uh, Steam Score Scholar, which when you play this thing with a memory in play is a Sarah Angel Floor for three mana, which is awesome. Uh, it's a flying Vigilance, can draw cards as well. Uh, we also have a Spirit theme going here too, though. So we have the Shipwreck, Shipwreck Sifters, which is a one, two for two. EDB draw discard. Whenever you discard a Spirit or a Disturbed card, you put a counter on this. So there are a lot of Spirits, a lot of Disturbed cards. And then we got Lantern Bearer, which is an early beater, but can also be a disturbed card. We got Lunar Veteran, early beater, gain some life, also a disturbed card. And of course, we have Denik, which is a phenomenally good disturbed card. Uh, it's a really good card in general. It also wears counters really, really well. Uh, the Life Linker Seer of Denik and Rune Lurker Bat are huge with the uh, memory counters. Because we're playing Spirits, you can play Geist Light Snare, which is a really awesome card. They can be a Mana Leak for one, which is awesome. And then we got the Modern Age here as an enchantment that's also a spirit and also draws the discards for our memory and our other stuff as well. And again, this uh, guy that's never cares about enchantments and spirits. Works out well also. And then one Katilda as a big card to draw to in the mid to late game. It could be lifelink and so on and so forth. And uh, just a cool little like kind of like budget scrappy blue-white uh, aggro deck. Uh, lands obviously and so on and so forth. Cyborg's got some Destroy Evils and some... Uh, Destroy Evils, yeah. Uh, Invasion of Gobicon for uh, kind of control decks and ramp decks. Some Hubble Hermits, which are obviously both a good tool against uh, spell decks as well as a uh, good spirit in the graveyard. Spell Pierce, Specialist, Flanker to move those graveyards from those uh, new combo decks. Also Tidebinder. And the one to Ferry, the old five mana Planeswalker for the mid-range matchups, right? Uh, so that's the deck, and let's get right to the games brought to you by. Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. I also do this chat coming out of me on the play. And we got the this, 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 this stones. The stone cold nuts. One, two, three. I guess I prefer a flyer, uh, or like a uh, a bat, or uh, whatever, but it's fine. So, turn one, veteran. Turn two, memory, put a counter. Turn three, scholar, put two counters. Turn the modern age, sure. And having a one drop is important with, with, with the memory, too, because, like, you want to get that first counter when you first play it. Without a one drop, you miss this counter, so. Attack for two. We got a lantern bearer, also. It's a cool card to discard to our scholar. scholar. They leave a mana up. So, because I have the mana up, I might be more inclined to just, like, play something else here. And not get my scholar mana leak. There's a play modern age. Play modern age. Might discard a land here, honestly. Let's see what we draw. We draw a Odawara. Let's discard the Attic Arrow We're going to hold the bearer, discard this probably. So move to combat, put a counter here. They have a cut down. No, cool. They have a go for the throat. They have a long goodbye. Sure, that's fine. So good job holding our scholar. Looking for a better spot. I like that a lot. I got a field of ruin. We draw Shipwreck Sifters, also kind of cool. Uh, we loot a Get Lost. I mean, I probably want to just cast Scholar. I'm still kind of scared of a Counterspell, honestly. Field of Ruin, Long Goodbye. If they're like a blue-black control deck, I should end up a Get Lost. Alright, and then I'm just going to cast the Sifters. We got two triggers coming from the memory of this resolves. Cool. So draw and discard. If I discard a spirit or a disturb card, I get to put a counter on it. I can do it again, too. All right, cool. Let's discard the bear. And then put a counter on this. I could have discarded a land and then discarded the bear to the next one, so they both get counters, but whatever, sure. Let's do this. Alright, so this time we have no spirit to discard. That's fine. We'll just discard a land. And then a memory will trigger. Put some counters here. So we're going to have a 4-5 and a 2-3. This thing flips over into a spirit next turn. Which is cool. We still have our scholar going too, so... Some gas in the bin as well. They're going to field the brew on us. Yeah, whatever. Sure. No big deal. 
we'll get a uh, an island. Cool. Cut down. Sure. Still a four five in play. One land pleasure I'll make to spear. Okay. Here is Jace, the perfected mine. I mill three. I mean milling cards is awesome because like I just have things in my graveyard. Obviously they got lucky I didn't hit one, but Alright, so we're gonna pre-combat play the scholar. We're going to draw another memory. So we discard two cards here because we didn't draw a uh we didn't draw a um what's it called? A flyer or a spell. That's fine. Just discard veteran and land. Um and now like this thing grows again. Awesome. I mean, if they have a sweeper here, we're like kind of in trouble, but I think we're just in whatever. So play on the memory. It's legendary. It doesn't matter. So triggers. So keep one of these. Draw a card. Draw a bat. Let's put all the counters on the thing that can attack. Which Actually, I'm sorry. I'm attacking the Jace. So just put him on the Scholar. Attack the Jace. Please another sweeper. I mean, we obviously we can like rebuild here too. We have like two flyers and stuff, but... They can cover up and exile the... Aw, oh man, they have cover up. That's gross. Get my veterans, too. All right. Well, we're probably dead now, honestly. That was pretty gross. Um, we played into that pretty hard, I suppose. That sucks. That's a, that's, that's a beat. That is definitely a beat. They got three cards left. Still at 16, too. Yeah. That's pretty tough. We have four counter spells in our deck. We just couldn't uh, couldn't find one. Obviously, countering that wrath of a game over for sure. But that's the beats. Game one against control. We have a sideboard, so they're exile my veteran. Sure, let's happen. Draw another land. Tilt. All right. I mean, what are you gonna do? Two two bats. They go. What do you got, friend? Oh my god, come on. Got a long way to go here, unfortunately. Drawing land, land, back to back, and our like 22 land deck. They have a deluge now, too, yeah. Yeah, they got us here. Um, fortunately, we uh, had a great start. We just couldn't find the rest of it. So they won't even trigger because it was already in the end step. That sucks. It's a beat. Another chase, sure. I'll take note of all your uh, well, no. we found the counter spells, obviously, and somehow they didn't mill a single flashback card, and we drew another land. So this is just like a comedy of errors here, but whatever, sure. All right, so there you go. Like, if they mill us, we have a whole bunch of cards of flashback. We got the Catilda, the Denic, and the Lantern Bearer for value. We just hit two counter spells, though. Here's Celestis. One more land for complaint equity, and then I'll concede. Perfect. Alright, well, drawing four lands in a row off those sweepers is not going to do it, obviously. So we'll go to game two. MBD. We have to bring in our specialist, specialist, hermit, hermit, spell pierce. Uh, get lost can go. Um, Skatilda can go. Planeswalker? How about these invasions, too? I just, want, I just want everything, honestly. I guess invasion isn't great against them, because, like, most of their cards are pretty cheap anyway. Um, could just cut, like, some of the crappier one-drops. These have value in the bin, though. I got the bats. Come look at bat. Bat. Do I want Tidebinder or Flanker? I don't think so. I want invasion. I kind of want the invasion. All right, let's cut a modern age, bring two invasions. I don't even know, honestly, I'm kind of winging it, but we'll figure it out. All right, try it again. On the play. Hand is not great. Uh, only two lands, no memory, no spirits or enchantments, just a hermit, can't even cast these. I think I'm all looking this. Ah! 
Point Mulligan also, thankfully. Are we going to five? Somebody's playing a prank on me. Just trying to play magic, folks. All right, we're gonna ship the veteran, the spell pierce. We're on four cards now. What are you gonna do? Try my best, folks. They're on six, we're on four. All right, well, here's our hermit. It's a good four, you know, but. Got some value. I like this card. They're playing hearse. All right, whatever, I guess. All right. Just raw dog specialists and just say, yeah, we're all in, folks. We're all in on the Goblin Piker and uh, Baldivarian Barbarians beatdown plan. Our mulligan to four. Yeah, we're just super bad here, obviously. It's just not even close. Any hope at card advantage to like get back in the game relies on our graveyard, so the hearse just going to wreck us. Heh. <laughs> it's pretty funny. They missed the land drop. I mean, you know. With Denik in the band, they can't target cards in the graveyard either. A little Wamp Nambo here with the specialist in the Denik, but that wasn't bad either. Alright, I mean, Slayer Tom gives a chance, you know. Alright, that sucks. Can't exile it though. So there you go. Uh. I mean, they surely have a kill spell, but I think it's fine. Sacrifice a non-token creature. I guess this thing, right? What's our like best draw possible? Maybe Steam Core, Steam Core weird. Yeah, I mean, obviously getting one for one to death when you have a uh, Mulligan to four is not really a uh, not really great for us. Yeah, all right. Let's draw another Denik. Sucks, I would like love to discard this and get value out of it. We can't do that, obviously, so let's just play this first. Alright. Yeah. With seven cards, maybe. Uh, with four card hand, not really, uh, not really doing it. I mean, we draw like exactly to fairy, maybe? We never get priority to cast it. It sucks. I, it's funny, like, if they didn't have this hearse, I feel like we we're actually, we we're, like, pretty in this game. Like, they've already gotten two Denix off the hearse and a, a Benevolent Geist, too. Like, it's pretty gross. Deluge. I'll have the dealers resolve. Don't even bother Hearst in the island. Hmm. Alright, we discard a spirit or a serve card or we get to uh, pump these up. Alright, that's pretty cool. Pop them up. And we still have a snare also. I could play a land and cast this with priority, but like I gotta keep snare up, I think, so. Let's just attack. This game is somehow not over yet, even though we log into four. And they had a hearse. So there you go.
Still refused to hearse. I don't know why, honestly. A lot of hands. A lot of hands. Don't know if you, if you need, but you need that many hands, you know? Five cards in hand, Deluge in the bin, two Restless Reefs. Now they want to do that? Sure. I mean, I guess. I can't attack because they have the reef, so we just play with this as I go. Probably pretty good sifting, yeah, I, I would agree. Alright, I'm not gonna counter this. Just gonna counter whatever like big spell they play, hopefully. Third Reef. Second Snare? And then a Memory. Uh, okay. I mean, Memory's pretty good here. It still has Death Touch, right? Sure. I mean, now they can't reef. Sure. I am trying to win. It's up to our deluge again. Probably can't beat three resolved illusions. Blue black control. Somebody call a game to see if you know. I haven't seen a siphon insight yet though. Where are your siphon insights, friend? They have a cut down, sure. Fine, this is an enchantment and a spirit, kind of guess. Uh, is this counter stuff worth it anymore? They're gonna flash back a deluge, so we just, we just can't ever win. But like, whatever, it's fine. Like, this is a shitty game. We're like mulligan to four. We like kind of are in it, but like, we're not really. And just like, we should keep playing though. Now I'm just gonna see. All right, I mean, tough game. Obviously, mulligan to four gets controlled. Like, you probably can't ever win. But what do you get to? That's fine. Alright, so memorying some more here. Uh, we can keep a sand, pretty sweet. Keep this. Uh oh. It's the land combo deck. If you want to see more of this deck, I played it on my cool stuff video. Uh, deck's insane. Probably the best deck in standard, honestly. This deck is absolutely bonkers. Just a land based combo deck, super good. And uh, we'll try and beat them. I don't know if this is like... I mean, we have, we're like an aggro deck with counter spells, but... Right, we're going to memory and get in. Draw a card, add a counter attack for two. Our flyers are obviously good here, so... They milled over three lands. Jeez. Alright, so more lands, so... They just need to find their... Uh, Archaeologist guy? Or analyst, whatever. We draw a Denic, which is not the most appealing. Just play Sifters. Draw a card. Geistlight Snares the bomb. That's a great draw. Let's discard this Denic. 
And then am I playing Lantern Bearer or am I holding it is the question. Um, this will grow this. I have another draw trigger to grow the flyer also, which is cool. Yeah. Let's pump this. Combat, pump this. Attack. Am I going to want a Geist Light Snare this turn? I don't think so. If they play a Nissa, I'll just kill it. If they... I guess I can play the Sweeper. That'd be bad. Alright, let's take go. Play the Explosion. Here's a Nissa. We're going to use Get Lost on it. They have an Analyst here too. It's very bad, but... Come on, man. All right, well, we're a little all in here. What are you going to do? Draw another Sifters. It's pretty good, actually. So let's go land Sifters. Discarding the bearer, most likely. Yeah, sure. Ship this. So pump, counter, counter, counter. And then we're going to combat. Put the counter here and attack. And start eating away the blockers, I think. Attack with these. Then we'll get lost in Nissa. Having the fifth toughness is very important too, because they only have a few cards that are over four mana to for the wrath, so that they have to have the uh, the seven mana green card for ill time explosion. This deck's so messed up. They discard nothing. Can't kill me. All right. Let's draw a heater. Let's draw. Let's draw a steam core weird or a counter spell or rune lurker bat. I guess. Um, I can give something flying get in more. Hmm. Alright. We're going to Lantern Bearer the Sifters and get in, I think. Let them trade here if they want to. Just play the bat. I mean, like, if they have another ill time explosion, that would suck, but... At this point, I think we're kind of in. They didn't have a card to discard last time, so. World Souls Rage, the thingy. Okay, so they get to gain four life. Draw weird, please. We should draw a freaking weirdy guy. At this point, Geist Light Snare isn't even good, really, so. All right, yeah, two cards left. We draw a veteran. I think we're just all in, so. Not what you can do here besides just shove, so. Just shove. Just play it all. All right, you're up. Sego, I look at the guy on the sleeves sold in the MTGA store. Well, those sleeves must look damn good. Damn good, all right? Already been through only one explosion, but here we are, you know. Shreds, new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome to the Pile Drivers. Playing the standard Prof's Eidetic Memory deck. Chart, of course, would be weird this deck, because, like, you want to cast it pre-combat, not post-combat, so you never draw two off of it without discarding, but... Alright, I mean, just gonna sit here. We're dead or we're not? 50-50. Either we win or we lose. Nissa Aftermath has replaced Domain Ramp as the deck for assholes in standard. Hey, I play this deck. This deck's insane. They're going to Shigeki back, World Souls Rage, and the Sweeper. All right. I mean, they have to have a, a card over four mana. Yes! Yes! So you get nothing. All right. So now I get to bring in our Haiti cards. We get to bring in our Invasions, our Flankers, our Spell Pierce, our Hermit, our Tidebinders. A lot of cards, honestly. And we're going to cut uh, the Catilda... 
anything slow and shitty, basically. Kind of like a Denik or two. Um, got these get losts. I kind of want to keep our low end stuff. The scholars are really good with the memories, but like a little scary. But like they just don't, they don't really beat that hard, you know. Um, in modern age, you can go. Our our memories get worse post board for sure because we're going to bring in so much interaction. But um, hmm. We cut the Scholars. We just want to leave mana up every turn through like every game. And we have a lot of good three mana interactive cards too. I just got these. It makes the memories a lot worse. But I think they're still fine. Um, I don't destroy evil. We currently have no way to kill a Nyssa. But like, it's not even like that bad, I guess. So, uh, Does World Souls target? Can't freaking see it. This world sells target or no? Judge does not target, right? Not lands, right? Yeah. So it does not work against that card. Uh, or it's gonna get but whatever. It's kind of it's kind of whatever. So I'll show us. All right, on the draw. Uh, no one drop. Can we keep this? We have the flanker to, to, for a graveyard hate card. We gotta keep this. I think just draw one drop. You know. We're gonna keep. Blanker's pretty good, obviously. Exile in the graveyard. We should have like four lands, so it's been a lot, so. Tidebinder. Coffee or tea? Neither. Drink some water, you know? Make a little noise here, huh? Sifters gets worse after board for us. Shit. Opposite of memory. Just like, guarantee makes us cheaper. Just try and find uh, some more lands too. No one drop really kills us. I, I think we might be in big trouble this game. We're gonna virtue back a land, sure. It's fine. Say go. Sucks, but. Our hand is got a lot of good cards in the matchup, but these are all like tempo y cards. You know? We need time to uh to use them. They're gonna virtue you again. This is fine. Can't be our first threat, you know. Like, nah, I should like half the cast flanker, just blows, but sure. What's up, banana? First time chatter. What's that, a banana? Play on standard lately. What's my favorite deck so far? Leave my opponent's deck. I think it's the best deck in the format. Until people adapt to it, at least. Alright, exile the one card in the graveyard, whatever. I would like to tie binder the Shigeki, honestly, but. Alright, I'm gonna play Invasion. Leave up snare and attack. Then I just block and trade, actually, which would be not great for us, but. Holy balls. Um, their hand is pretty stacked. They have no blue, obviously, but this thing will probably find a blue when they activate it. Titania is also pretty annoying. Um, this is a card that's not currently on my list of his deck. I built like a lands deck like for 10 new brews a while ago. It's like red green and, and this card was great in it. 
Alright, I'm just gonna hope they miss a blue, I guess. Take Titania. Alright, I'm gonna attempt to attack this, see if they wanna block and trade or not. They probably just block and sack, which is fine too, I guess, but... So they can block and sack and bounce, or they can block and trade. They'll probably just block and sack, sure. Not sack, whatever, bounce, so do the thing. They find a blue land, unfortunately, which is bad. Um... And now, like, we can counter something, but most of the things are bad. Yeah, it sucks. They find Argoth, too. It's kind of weird, yeah. It's definitely a weird version of a deck, but... Um, let's just say go, like... Yeah, I don't even know, honestly. Now they might probably just, like, barrage. Uh, we're pretty screwed here. I, I, I probably should just mulligan, honestly. Like... We just had no, no one or two drop that was pro applying pressure, and like you just can't do that, so. Just giving them so much time, it's unbelievable. Jeez. <sighs> Hate it. Here's a veteran. So we're gonna sifters. Leave up tide binder. Not even good. I don't think that's good, but yeah, barrage. Any... I mean, barrage is so good against us too. It's gross. Um... It's all pretty bad for us. We just have no clock, and there's it's pretty high life. Hoping they played a sack land there. I could tie bindered it. I just like need to play a threat here. I think this sucks. The, the problem is we're having to use our good our good interactive cards just as threats. We haven't drawn any threats early, and just like totally destroying our, our hand. This is making it so bad. Um. All right. Let's mem. An explosion too. Like they should, they should have edge of everything right now. Now I like play Dank and they just Wrath. <sighs> Alright, let's say go. Could have stifled the land maybe at some point earlier too. Yeah, I mean just like kind of a bad keep. Just can't allow them to get to this point, you know. It can't be turn seven or ten or whatever of their twenty-four life. It's not 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 okay. They're gonna their combo deck, obviously. Alright, we should go next game. Alright, tough game. I think I should have mulliganed. I think that was a non-disciplined uh, mulligan there. So, same stuff for game three. Just going to be on the play this time. Trying to have a one drop and a two drop. Again, got to use Tide Binder and Flanker as like, you know, the, the cherry on top. It can't be the first play. Even if they are good, they're not good enough by themselves to win the game. On the play. Uh, this is fine. We can keep this. One drop, two drop. These will loot and find more stuff. I have a Tide Binder also. These count each other too, so they stack really well. Alright, so here's Sifters. Discard a Spirit card or a card with Disturb. We're going to want Hermit, I think, for more stuff. So let's discard this and bump. Attack. 
We descended. Keep a, keep a land on top. I like that. Man, they brought a lot of removal spells. Jeez. Alright. Um... Discard second Hermit. That's fine. Pump the thing up. Play a land. Attack for one. Descend. Scry. Bat at the bottom. Say go. An okay beat down draw here. Not great. Oh, man. This deck's just too good. It's just so good. Uh, like, I already feel dead. Which is gross. Um... Modern Age, discard the guy. That was actually a sick draw. Alright, that was pretty good. Grow this thing, now I have a counter spell attack. Sure. Our deck's built around, uh, it's like a spirit deck built around Prof's Eidetic Memory. We're kind of like a spirit synergy beatdown deck. Alright, so they do this thing. Pan tap, we get to the loot. We want to grow the thingy. Do I discard a hermit here? I'd like to have tie binder up for analyst. I, mean, I, have, I have to have an untapped land too, I guess, right? Could just hermit. If I discard this, this gets bigger also. Alright, let's do this. Discard this. I'm just gonna play it all. If they have untapped land and analyst, so be it. They only have two lands to bid anyway, so. Land or barrier goes to the bottom. Which is just surveil, you know? Ship that. Fifth top this year is huge because they only have so many things they can discard to the. Uh, Explosion to kill for f more than four. Alright, and then they got it, they got it. What am I gonna do? They have to have the green adventure where they can't kill the four or five. Five's the important inflection point, toughness wise, against this deck. Obviously, they have it. <sighs> Alright. Not cool. Asian of Yo Gabba Gabba. All right, let's take a look. Their hand is insane. Uh, all right. It's got to be World Souls Rage, I think. Frobeck exiles the graveyard too. It's gross. All right. I guess like we can kill the invasion next turn, so we're like kind of in okay shape as long as the deluge kind of misses, but. Oh, we can kill an enchantment too! No! Man. They have hit all of our spots against us. They boarded they boarded a lot of cards too. Like an obscene amount of cards. Like a, a braids, barrages. The the frillback guy. Yeah, we're just dead. Say go. This deck's really good. <laughs> I don't like being on this side of it. I like being on the side of playing it because this deck is absolutely busted. Again, if you, seen, if you haven't seen my opponent's deck before, go check out my article on CoolStuffInc.com. I talk about it and play it. It is very fun to play, I agree. Is 
So World Souls Rage X equals three. It's like still really good. We'll like, I guess just counter one of the sack lands. We can attack this invasion. I don't think we can actually win anymore though. Like we're just so far behind now. I mean, kind of had it all this game. Counter they land. Now they have a broker's hideout in play, which is fun. Got a long way to go here, that's for damn sure. Pretty funny seeing these in play. Yeah, memory daily is pretty good. I don't know how they fit all these cards in their deck. I'm just like surprised. Just like so many cyborg cards. Um, I guess we save it. Like, pretty demoralizing. I should concede. Alright, I'm done. Alright, whatever. That's fine. I, I, love, I like the way they board it out, honestly. Usually you can't board it more than like three or four cards, but they board it in a lot. So, alright, you got me. All right, one more game. We got this. Try and do our thing here. Ant's pretty good. We can keep. Underground freaking river. All right. Curving out. The veteran has arrived. dead. Cut down. In his prime. So... Are we Deniking? This guy that really wants a freaking memory. He's Denik, I think. Sure. Denik, my boy! Now he might Scholar. I don't know. We'll see what we draw, but... Fairy Mastermind's insane against us. <sighs> Alright, that's really bad for us. Geist. Light. It's like any card we play, every, every card we have draws a card. They draw a card at this thing. Oh my god. Oh, Alright, let's play the Scholar. Yeah, shoulder's also very good against us too. I'll just throw a stupid snare. Right, I'll just say go. Yeah, like, uh, very mastermind is uh, the actual stones against us. They take the Modern Age, which is kind of a weird take, honestly. I was taking the memory, but let's see what happens. And a cut down. They got it all, folks. Obviously, it happens when you draw a million cards. So we get to go Memory Sifters. Or get lost. Right on time. Uh, okay. Again, Mastermind just destroying us, but...
right. I mean, that's something. All right, so counter here, two counters here. We attack. Gain some life back. We do have the Rising Dawn on our radar. They've just drawn like a thousand cards, though. They've drawn like four extra cards off their Mastermind, you know? Yeah, like, it's none of it matters. There's just so many cards. Yeah, I mean... They are discarding to hand size, folks. JK. Alright, let's go to the next game. Alright, obviously a tough game. Like, Mastermind just grows against us. Grows against us. Alright, so... The problem is, like... I don't really have much good removal. Like, you know, like, killing bats. Like, the Demir deck is just, like, you must kill, like, all their creatures. And we just don't really have much good removal against them. Um, I mean, Specialist is pretty cool. The Geist Light Snares, I mean, they're good on the play, I guess. The problem is that they get the... the they should have shouldered... They have shouldered Bat and the Mastermind, which are all really, really good against us. I could tilt in a snare for two specialists and just give it a spin. All right, on the play. Hand is fine. Let me keep this. Garrett, reset up. Thanks so much. Yeah, it's a lantern bearer. Big whoop. Want to fight about it? Okay, attack for one. Modern Age. Man, we suck. Alright, I mean... Drawing spells would be cool. We're good here, I think. We just got a 2-drop. We get back with this thing. They're going to bat us. Alright, we have 2 good 3s at least, so... Right, let's see, draw. There's the memory. Um, and a Scholar. I mean, I want a memory first, so let's discard this and just play memory. Another memory? Sure, there's two counters here. Get the beats on. I guess it's the card the, the car our deck is built around. The eidetic memory. Goes all our scholars, obviously. We're kind of laying the beats this game, but, you know, no, no, no mastermind helps, obviously. I feel like we're probably getting make disappeared here, but we're just gonna cast it, so here it is. If I drew a land, I could have double spelled, I would have, but. Mastermind again, no! Uh, let's discard veteran memory. Keep a scholar. I'm gonna play this too. So counters on We got two counters coming. Scholar's already pretty good by it, so I'll just get in, whatever. Just get in for five. They can't cut down response then either. That was, that was obviously a cut down pause. So in for five. Mono blue. What does white give us? This is like it should be mono blue, maybe. Play more counter spells, too. And step, cut down the vector glider. Would happily trade Scholar for Mastermind, so yeah.
Let's say go again. Ugh. All right, let's modern age. Oh no, stop! He hates it forever. Yeah, this card's a problem. Just going to four? All right. I mean... We're doing our thing, but we're just not really like interacting enough. Let's say go again? All right. Let me draw... Oh, fairy mastermind. All right, cool. Uh, sure. So Go to game three. Uh, I don't think much changes for us, but I mean, we were doing pretty well that game, you know? Like, they were drawing extra cards. They must have just, like, drawn a bunch of lands or something, I guess. I don't know. All right, run it back. All right, I want to win here. I want to go out with a win before we move on to our next deck. Come on. <sighs> All right. We're keeping uh, keeping five here. It's not a bad five, honestly, but... Oh, man. Spyglass Siren, come on down. All right, draw a land. That's pretty good, I guess. Now we have Denik into Profts, maybe. Got the old specialist Danic Wombo combo. They're gonna map, sure. That's really bad for us. Guess who's here? It's Gix. Okay, so here's a memory, draw a card. It's a bat, that's cool. I'm just gonna jam, say I have to probably kill spells also, so. I mean like, for a five card hand, this is not that bad, you know? Come on, Dennis. Dennis the Menace. All right, no blocks. There's a siren. If they like were to brick on lands, they have a chance, maybe. Oh my god, they bricked on lands. Okay. Okay. Bingo. Um Problem here is we have no more card draw. So we have a Ganja, that's pretty cool. Alright, so let's just jam, I guess. I'll just send it to the Denic. Alright, they have a removal spell, so they go for the throat here. We just flashback Denik. Could play veteran and specialist. That's pretty good too. Let's do that. Leave it, could leave a, leave a Ganjo, but it's like it's just like too obvious. I think. All right, let's do this. Uh. 
Another Danic will go to the bottom and surveil the sun for the scry. You know, ship is extra Danic. All right, so there you go. Now we have good blocks at least, so I got that going for us. That's bad. So they have six spells in their hand. What's up, Jiro? Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Here's a shipwreck sifters. This can even attack. This can attack, but then. Oh, man. Alright. Just fire up the old sifty boy. Put a counter on. Problem is, these spyglass sirens are just wrecking us. Put a counter here and attack. I want this freaking Gix to attack. That's the issue. Let's put a counter here and attack. Oh, I, I, I hit the wrong button. Damn it. I hit the freaking pass turn button. Stupid. Yeah, there's an Odawara. Sad reset, thanks so much. Where is this limited format rank in my favorite arena formats? Um, I don't know. It was good. I think not amazing, but very solid. It was fun. Like, I guess I'm gonna kill one of these. Just can't have them. Just can't have them drawing cards. You know, like I want to kill Gix, obviously, but. We're just like, just comically behind our resources. Like, you mulligan to five, and you're like 10 cards off Gix. Like, you're just like, not even a fair fight, really. It just kind of sucks. We're like, just so behind. It's like, obviously, we're like, still alive, for, but. There's card into hand size. I draw like, probably the best possible draw of a deck. I draw Scholar. This is like the Nightmare matchup, right? They just have like Masterminds and a bunch of removal spells. Uh, all right. We have the old Specialist Denic combo. It's discard both or yeah, one, so all right. I put it here, it's just gonna die. <sighs> yeah, obviously I don't mind trading one for one here, so. So there you go. I could have put the counters in the Danic. Maybe, maybe they just, they just don't block them. Yeah, the problem is they just have like literally infinite resources. Like they just like they're up to end cards on us. Like I just don't know how we ever uh, get back in the game.
It's only for one, not two. So I can't even defend here. This game's really getting away from me. Take four. Playing these games like when you're just so far behind, too, it's just so depressing. Like, obviously, it's, I'm not actually not playing. We're just obviously fucking dead. So, all right. So, pretty bad run. Uh, Deck seems really cool, but like definitely a little underpowered, like as far as like what's happening in the format. Let's hop on over to Untapped. Let's look at our stats. It's our draft deck from earlier. Oh, I'm still unlimited right now. Destructive, please. Thank you. Track all your games for free, just like it's on Untapped. Obviously, we went 0 3, which is not great. Um, you know, I mean, a lot of cool things happening here, but unfortunately, like, I mean, Fairy Masterminds is staying against us. Um, you know, and then, uh, the ramp deck is really, really good in general. Like, our curve's pretty good. Obviously, the counter spells are pretty good, too, but, like, just seems a little underpowered for, like, serious, like, competitive play. Obviously, a cool budget deck, cool, uh, be cool f &M deck and stuff, too. Pretty, 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 pretty fun little brewski. So, that's the deck. More to play on stream. YouTube, folks, love you. Like, comment, subscribe, and, uh, I'm out.